everybody. Sorry that I uh, can't see my face. Uh, I actually gave my uh, webcam to my roommate. Uh, the other one that I did buy was too much widescreen for me. Couldn't control it or anything. But uh, I did order a new one. Should be here next week. Um, as I stated in my update video guys, um, as you can see, can't seem to find my other logo that's supposed to be for this channel, but, uh, yeah, this is my, uh, one year and five month transition update, uh, chest is growing, not as fast as I was kind of hoping, but it's okay. No TVP, you still can't see them. Um, I did get up to 8 milligrams of estrogen and got added a patch. Uh, my next appointment is actually in less than a month. It was supposed to be actually next week, but I had to change it to due to work reasons. Uh, emotionally, I would say I'm still stable because of the me medication. Um, do I have mood swings? Well, the loss of a parent would cause anybody to have mood swings, but other than that, uh, I would say I'm doing pretty good. Haven't really noticed any changes. Uh, I mean, of course my hair's gotten really long. Um, I will actually be on my roommate's laptop, which I will be, has its built in, own built-in webcam. It's not exactly the greatest, but it'll have to do until I get my new one. So you can see exactly, you know, the physical changes. Um, I just gotta do a few things to try to make it better. That's why I'm not recording with it now, guys. Other than that, I would say I'm doing pretty good. Still single. And I tried a few dating sites, you know, and when I actually put in there that I'm transgender, you know, with in the profile, it's like all I get is some thirsty motherfuckers. I swear to God. Wow. I mean, pretty much with any dating app, you know, if they started up with, you know, hey baby, it's like, you know what, fuck you, I'm not a piece of meat. Sorry. So. As far as, you know, finding a significant other, still on hold, still working on me. But aside from, you know, the whole family member loss and a close friend that passed away back in December, I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm happy the way things are going. I do wish that they, you know, it kind of would happen sooner. But you know what? Maybe there's a lesson involved. Patience. Still working on that, you know. Because of the medication, I do have a greater control over my emotions and a greater aspect for patience. Uh, being married to. Now, ex Mrs. Goober did teach me a lot of patience. Wow. Uh, squeak, if you're watching this, much love to you. In a friendly way. But. I'm hanging in there, guys. Uh, if my blood work comes back, that my estrogen levels are not that 
as high as you know she would be, I will be considering uh, asking her for injectables because that seems to, from everybody I talked to on Reddit, kind of boosts the whole estrogen level a lot more because the body can process it faster. Or not faster, I should say better. But, uh, yeah. I do miss you guys. I really do. Um, I miss being able to pop into the live shows. You know, say hi to everybody. I miss a lot of you guys in the babe community. I really do. I've tried to make appearances where I can, but... With my schedule and now the huge amount of responsibility I have at work is just makes it extremely difficult. I am so exhausted by the end of the day, guys. And I realized, you know, I'll, I meant to give you guys more updates on my transition into more regular in a volt. And I've been laxing on that. Um. Bunny, if you're watching this, thank you for subscribing to the other channel. I did see that. I forgot to put that in my channel update one, but much love to you guys. And I'll probably make the next one right after I get my blood test back at the end of uh, April. I think it's April 20th. I usually get it back a few days. So it'll be about three weeks before I post another one. Let you guys know how I'm doing blood work wise. But love you all. And I hope to see you guys on Thursday. Or Friday, I should say. Sorry. Toodaloo.